Merry Christmas! It's February. So the reason for this being out in February is because I was busy over the Christmas period. Uh, I was working a lot and the reasons why will be explained later, but just for now I just apologise and uh, I'm back at uni, which is why Purple Cookies is on the phone. Say hello. Mm -hmm. But this video is going to be the same as previous years, it's going to show what Purple Cookies got for Christmas, what I got is going to be in my uh, birthday video, and it's also going to show you what I got other people, and it can act as like a, uh, a video for like gift ideas for next year, which is actually only 10 months away, the calendar there that actually says it's February, I wasn't lying. But before we start, there is also a hidden clue within this video that's just going to be one of the videos happening in the next two months or so, but if you can find that, you can let us know. Right, Pepper Cookies, are you ready? Mm-hmm. The first one is the Bailey J book. She's an artist on YouTube. And did you like the book? Yeah. What did you like most about it? I don't know. I liked it all. Next up is the Hermione pop figure. Me and Mum nearly bought you the Harry Potter one instead. It had a Hedwig with it, mm. so I didn't know which one you would have preferred out of the two. I don't know. I like them both, I guess, so. I also got the Hunger Games trilogy, which is the Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay. Have you started any of the uh, books yet? Yeah, I'm reading the first one. How far the way through are you? <laughs> About halfway through. Oh, okay, so it's not so bad as the Harry Potter ones then. They were quite fast. And lastly, I got a large penguin. I actually bought the penguin from uh, Clinton's as well. I didn't know how you felt about the name Clinton. It's okay. <laughs> That's a no. But that wasn't actually it for the penguin, was it? There was also something else on the penguin. There was a tag. It said two purple cookies. I'm sorry that I could not be with you today, but why not come and feed me and my friends on the 20th of January from the Gentoo penguins in Brum? So do you know what that means? Yep, feeding penguins. Yep, we're, me and Pepper Cookies are going to go to the Birmingham Aquarium and actually go into the penguin enclosure and feed the penguins, which I'm pretty excited for as well. Uh, but that'll be in a future vlog if you want to check it out. Are you excited, Pepper Cookies? Yeah. So continuing the annual tradition of getting my friend something to do with red pandas, this year I've got her a red panda nano block set, which is like very small, small Lego or Legos, however you say it. I'm actually glad I found this because my friend actually collects nano blocks, which is why I thought it was a perfect match. I think she's got a few landmarks as well. I might have to try and get her to send me some pictures of the finished red panda thing and the one she already has, if you will. So for our mum, Mother Cookies, uh, we got her, it's, it's a grater. It's one of these fancy graters that we saw, we saw on Hairy Bikers Comfort Foods and we liked those sort of shows and we liked to cook. Uh, she's better at it than me. But she said that she really liked that grater, so I got her one. And it's actually very dangerous, it's very sharp. Uh, first time she used it, she she cut herself. And I sort of flayed the end of my finger. It was it was quite nasty. And the other thing we got her was the film The Martian. Uh, I watched this a while back and thought she'd absolutely love it because we have kind of like similar tastes. And she did actually really enjoy it. She loved the story, she thought it was funny, and she loved the soundtrack. I don't think she liked the uh, poo potatoes, but I, I liked them, they were quite funny. I liked that bit. So this right here, I also got for Purple Cookies, hence why she's been brought back in. Hello again. Mm -hmm. uh, now this is called a Memo Elephant, or Eric the Memo Elephant. Essentially this is just made out of ceramic, but it's like a whiteboardy type thing where you can write your notes onto it. Uh, I actually really enjoy this. I don't know about you, Purple Cookies. It was good. I used it to write my homework on. And one of the last things I can show you, because the other one is locked in a room right now and I can't get it. Uh, and actually I haven't actually given this yet. I've actually, I haven't actually given it to the person. It's still, it's still here wrapped and ready to give out. Uh, it's Jake's, I don't know if you remember him from the vlogs, but he's hopefully coming up soon, so I'll give it to him. So if you're watching this, Jake, don't, because your present's about to come up. And this is it, uh, I don't really know what you'd call it. I guess it's an eyeglasses holder, like an Easter egg island head. I, I don't even know what you'd call them. And I can't actually claim that I actually thought of this idea on my own. Someone bought me one a few years ago, so it wasn't really me that came up with this idea. But I just think they're really cool and like goofy as well at the same time, I guess. So the question now is, which one is your favourite present, Pope Cookies? My favourite present was feeding the penguins because they were cute. I think for me personally, it's the Eric the Memo Elephant thing. Uh, I got that as a gift for like four or five different people, so <laughs> I really thought it was a good idea. Uh, I'm hoping they liked it. I don't actually know. Right, I think it's time for the jar of names. 
this is just something that we do to sort of thank people for watching and specifically commenting because that is how you'll get your name in the jar of names but this week we thank Max Ravage if you uh, have anything you want for Christmas then let us know and I will be emptying the jar of names soon so that we can start refilling it again from scratch. So hopefully that gave you a few ideas of what you can get people for uh, next Christmas coming up. Uh, if you've got any other gift ideas as well, because I, I really enjoy getting people Christmas presents. So if you've got any other ideas that we can sort of share, uh, let me know in the comments because that way we can sort of help each other out. And the best way to get over Christmas is to plan the next one. But don't forget there's also a hidden clue in this video about one of the videos I'm gonna do in the future. And if you still haven't found it, stay tuned because there's also gonna be another clue to help find the clue at the end of this video. But in the meantime, you can do what you want with this video. You can like it. You can share it. Or you can never forget it. I'll see you later then, Pepper Cookies.